Hello and welcome to my installation guide for Long War of the Chosen. I'm making this because somebody on the on the XCOM 2 subreddit pointed out that since it's not in the workshop, most people are not going to be able to find it there, and if they're interested in the mod, they're not going to bother. So in episode one of my Long War of the Chosen playthrough, I do link the GitHub, and I'm going to in the description of this video too, eh, probably. Uh, if I don't forget, which I hopefully won't, but like I said, I did go and link it in on the uh, description of the first episode. You can find that in this playlist because it's a premiere. The first episode's a premiere page. Now, if you're watching this in the future, i.e. after January 11th, and have already seen the first episode then you might wonder why I'm doing this. And the answer is, I did cover it in part one. However, I feel I didn't do a very good job of it. So, if the link doesn't work for any reason, assuming the reason the link doesn't work is be isn't because the GitHub no longer exists, the first thing you can do is type XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen in, and it is quite literally the first thing that pops up on Google. And I just got to check OBS to make sure, okay, it does update. I did set the capture method up right. So basically, my understanding of it is if you follow the in installation steps, then it will work. Now, the beta zip file from Nexus Mods, please tell me it likes tabbing. Okay, it does like it when I tab. <laughs> Again, something that is worth mentioning is that if you go to download... If you're not a if you're a free user, it's two megabytes, and the file itself is two point two gigabytes. So, bear in mind that it might be a good idea to just like start downloading this if you're a free member, and then like just read through the rest of this while you're doing it. I already have it downloaded. Now, my understanding is because it's a zip file, you will need something like Seven Zip to uh, open it, or I personally use WinRAR. Because, you know, it's got that free trial that doesn't actually run out. But when you do, I just realized why I initially used Display Capture. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Transform. Fit the screen. Oh, I selected the wrong one. Transform. Fit the screen. Yeah, I'm recording this in 1080p. Uh, my laptop would explode if I tried to record XCOM in 720 Nope, 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 wrong button. I meant that. Sometimes I hate this mouse. You'll get these two folders. So extract the folders, not the contents of the folders. So if you see something that looks like uh, two of these, then or one of them, if you see more than two folders, you did something horribly wrong. So what you want to do is just extract these. Somewhere you can remember them. It's not important for now, and... You are going to need, you see it even lists here. It says to unpack them, like, to the to the directory. I suppose I should, uh, so because so, I did make this mistake myself. But basically, this PC, the drive you installed XCOM on, the location, sorry, the drive you installed Steam on, the location you installed Steam, Steam apps, common, XCOM 2, and now, you might see, if you read it a little too fast, you might, you might click XCOM game by mistake, I almost did, you want XCOM, XCOM 2, XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, and then XCOM game, and then mods, if this folder doesn't exist, then just right click, new, folder, and name it mods, and then just drop the two folders in there. And yes, it comes with its own community Highlander. It won't work with the one on the workshop, as stated above. But the one included with Long War of the Chosen works with the workshop mods. Something worth mo noting is that when you install a workshop mod, it will like remind you to sub to the community Highlander. You don't actually have to do this. And, you know, since I got Steam running a real quick... 
something worth mentioning is that you do have to use the alternative mod launcher. Come on, alternative mod launcher. Sometimes I wonder what it's like to have a gaming PC that loads things at the drop of a hat. Uh, let's just go down to... I should probably add these since they're green. What's a, what's one that I know requires? Psionics over... No, I want the base Psionics overhaul V3. So... Mods, if you use other mods that require the community Highlander, you might notice they turn red when you first load them up, and it asks for X2 War of the Chosen Community Highlander. Because despite the fact that they have the same ID, it doesn't recognize the... If I just... For some reason, it doesn't recognize the ID. Like, if you look at the ID here that I got my cursor on, and the one it's asking for, they are literally the same. So I don't know why that doesn't work, but it will, like, it, it will still function. You just go over, you click on it, dependencies ignored. That's how you get other mods to work. I'll just close that. So anyways, you've downloaded and unpacked the zip file. Then you drop the folders into the correct directory, and the mods folder should look something like this. There's Linux instructions. Unfortunately, I can't model them because literally half the directories it asks for don't exist on Windows 10. Now, it, it you, also, you need to use the alternative mod launcher. To my understanding, it literally won't work with the regular game launcher. And it requires two paths to the mod directories, which in hindsight means I should have left the AML open. Yeah, this isn't scripted, if you couldn't tell. Hopefully, since it was just running, maybe it's... Yeah, there we go. So what you want to do is go to Options in the AML Settings. Now, Mod Paths. This top one will auto-generate. The second one, you literally... The second one here might auto generate i've been told it can but it's always worth checking basically what you do is you go to add and then you just follow the little drop down menu local disk c program files 86 steam steam apps common oh god too far xcom 2 xcom 2 war of the chosen xcom game mods and then don't click on any of these. Just click mods itself and then hit OK. I'm going to hit cancel because I've already done this. Other cool thing is if you've seen the startup stuff a bajillion times, in active arguments, type this in exactly as you see it. This basically means that the game should load straight to the main menu. It's just a, no it's just a nice thing to have. Um, I wouldn't do regenerate ends... I don't know what it does. Like, I have it on quick toggle arguments because this is how it generated. I noticed I have it turned off. Also, quick toggle arguments doesn't seem to work for me. But that could just be a me thing. Ah, 41 mods. I told that guy on the subreddit I had, like, 30. Oh, well. So, anyways, you've got your AML downloaded. Something worth mentioning is you literally... The AML doesn't have to be in a specific, specific folder. Like, I quite literally just made a modding stuff folder on my desktop... Stuck C can for KSP in there, made a dedicated folder for the AML, because when you first run the EXE, it generates all this. And just made a shortcut. Something worth mentioning, if you only skim the AML, it says it needs to be run that either, that neither or both the AML and Steam could be run as administrator. So you can't have one run as administrator unless you run the other one as an administrator. I don't run Steam as administrator, but I run AML as an admin, just to make sure nothing, like, breaks. I haven't had a problem yet, but that could just be because my laptop's primary account is an administrator account, and everything runs as admin at some level on this system. I don't fully understand Windows 10. <laughs> I just know how to use it. So, of course, the only things you should have are the AML folder itself and... The shortcut if you choose to make one this other stuff is just because this is like one folder to keep my desktop from having 10 million icons anyway um 
So, oh, right. The other thing. So what you want to do is go to Documents, My Games, XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, XCOM Game, Config, and then just hit Control A and then hit Delete. Um, it's worth mentioning, if you instead go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, XCOM 2, XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, if you delete those configs, the game won't run. If you delete these here, all of them, they'll be regenerated uh, when the game loads. Now, I'm not going to actually do this, because starting XCOM 2 with OBS already running takes way too friggin' long. And I've already got this installed. But basically, you would just delete these, and then just let them stay. So there is a list of required mods here. Uh, at some point before you start the game, you should sub you should subscribe to these if you haven't already. You see, it's, they're literally just, like, dependency things. Like, mod config menu, I don't think is strictly required, but it's nice to have. Because it lets you configure certain mods. I like it because it lets me turn on some of the settings for the tactical kill counter UI mod that I love using. Better second wave mod support, Robo Jumper Squad Select, Revert Overwatch Rules Change. Yeah, these are all required. And now, when you start the game through the AML, um, it's okay to have a whole bunch of mods with Long War of the Chosen, but the first time you start it, only start it with Long War of the Chosen, the Beta Highlander, and those four mods in the required mods collection. Once you start it, the new game button should say Long War 2, or just Long War, I don't remember which. It, but it should just say like something to the tune of Long War, bracket, L, like the abbreviated form of Long War of the Chosen, close bracket. If it doesn't, you did something wrong, clear everything and start this again. If it does say that, then you can exit to desktop and enable all your other menus, all your other mods, sorry. Yeah, it says right here. Yeah, this is exactly what it should say, and I believe this is indeed exactly what it says. And if you see a new game, instead exit the game completely and launch it again. Yeah, sometimes the old have you tried turning it off and on again does work. They do give a list of recommended mods. Now, since my Chrome is hooked up to my uh to my uh steam account you can see which ones i personally use um i edit the i edited the config for this mod to change the defaults and then when that didn't work i went into the mod into the mod settings menu in game and changed them itself so i could see the remaining enemies like right from the gate get go without a shadow chamber because i mean the game literally tells you this is how many enemies you're expected to run into when you start a mission it's like, okay, so I'm going to encounter, say, anywhere between seven and nine enemies. Whoop-de-doo. Also, the game does indirectly tell you when you've killed everything. Because then when you end your turn, it doesn't say alien activity. It just, there's nothing, there's a short pause, at least for me. Maybe for people who actually meet the minimum system requirements, <laughs> it just skips directly to their turn. Again, what it would be like to have a... To have a good gaming computer. So this is kind of important. I find it funny that it's a second wave option. Although I kind of appreciate it if you ask me. Like it gives you the choice. To be fair in the base game. Uh, every chosen that wasn't the fucking assassin was kind of laughable. And the assassin gets a pass because her you know. I'm just going to disappear and then you can't just unload bullets into me strategy. It's like, you know, can't fault her combat strategy, but that doesn't mean I can't hate it. Um, what's funny is I've actually seen Chosen before Force Level 5, but, you know, this very end of April, beginning of May, typically part does seem to hold true. Then again, that's Advent Strength. I've never seen a specific Force Level counter. Um... Number 10 here should be, like, I believe that this is actually impossible. Like, either the pop-up doesn't appear or it does, but the, uh, but the enable tutorial button is grayed out and you can't click on it. I've had it both ways. Um, this one should similarly be impossible for the same reasons. Um, though do note that in both cases, if for some reason you can click on these buttons, 
it like I said, it will brick your campaign. Other thing to mention, um, if you play XCOM 2 on PS4, you're probably shaking your head right now at the thought that people play this game with Iron Man enabled. I lost a few rookie Iron Man runs, yes, I'm that bad, to uh, save file corruption. But this goes doubly so because not only is the game itself buggy because, you know, XCOM, but Long War of the Chosen is still in development. Also, enable auto-saving. Again, because you can send them to the devs, though so apparently it's a complicated process I'd rather not do unless I run into something horrendous. Also, if the game crashes and you lose your save, you're set back one turn instead of one mission. If you enable these mods, you'll brick the game, apparently. I've never tried it, but they are built directly into the friggin' Long War, into Long War of the Chosen. This mod, anything, and by proxy anything that has it listed as a dependency, won't work. And then they recommend these. I don't... Hold on. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's listed as a requirement. <laughs> And this one's listed under the Steam collection above. All of these are listed above. Also, I've seen this one a few times. Is this the mod I'm thinking of? I'll look at that on my own time. Um... Oh, that's actually good to know. Extended information. Nope. This is the one I was thinking of, wasn't it? Yep, right there. That's the one I was thinking of. Um, I'm just going to grab that real quick. Steam should start downloading that. Oh, right. Offline mode. Uh, <laughs> I put my laptop to sleep, so I set it to offline mode so I wouldn't, like, break anything. And here's the... Um... Oh god, if I have to clear my friggin' config every time. I use the low spec gamer config tweaks. It's not a mod. Like, it's literally a like you might have seen it actually. When I went documents. <laughs> it's not a it's not actually a a mod. It's literally just something I have to paste into a part of the of one of the config files. It's not a giant pain in the ass, but I do have to reload the game friggin' twice to make wants to regen the config file itself, and then again to apply the actual config tweak. So yeah, that's mildly annoying. Oh well. Generally speaking, if you're not using, like, stupid amounts of mods, you shouldn't run into these problems unless you try to do something that is, like, completely borked. Like I said, I won't show you the rest of the actual installation process because it's literally as sim simple as going into the AML, toggling anything that isn't Long War of the Chosen or a prereq, clearing the config, launching the game, Xing out, enabling all your mods, and go. And if you want to see what starting a campaign in Long War of the Chosen actually looks like, well, I mean, I have a series. It airs January 11th. I have managed to ramble for 18 minutes about how to install a mod. Hopefully this does it. Th hopefully this does it because I can't. Like I said, I already have it. Go I already have an ongoing series. I don't want to like risk like say like anything going horrendously wrong by reinstalling my friggin' mod setup. All right. Hopefully this has cleared up some of the confusion. Hopefully I'll remember to actually link the github in the description if it's not there like i said just google xcom 2 long war of the chosen it should work